everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning and uh, today in this video i am going to discuss about moment distribution method and uh, moment distribution method is uh, a method for analyzing indeterminate structure uh, and uh, i have selected a numerical which is a simple which is based on the simple frame uh, and it, you can see the simple frame is loaded at span bc and ce only and load on the span a b and c d are missing and i hope this numerical is going to be helpful for the students who are studying structure analysis uh, second uh, and uh, uh, without wasting time let's begin the video on the course of beginning the video we comes to our step one uh, and uh, our step one is going to be the fixed in moment and in this step we will be finding fixed in moments uh, at different points and which is due and the fixed in moment is mainly due to the loading uh, and as you can see the load on the span a b and c d are missing so the fixed in moment at end a b c and d is going to be zero and uh, um, fixed in moment at b c and c e we need to uh, calculate uh, so the fixed in moment at b as it is the point load which is acting on the center of the beam so its fixed in moment is calculated by using the formula minus the plus minus w l by 8 uh, so um, fixed in moment at b it is going to be minus w l by 8 minus w l by 8 which is equal to minus w means 20 into l is equal to 6 by 8 and uh, it's going to be minus 15 kilo newton meter now we comes to add the joint c and uh, fixed in moment at joint c m c b is going to be plus w l by 8 and it's going to be plus 15 kilo newton meter now uh, we comes to add uh, in the span ce as here it is load 10 kilo newton which is acting at the center again we will be using the same formula in this span also m c e is equal to m c e is equal to here uh, here uh, c is fixed uh, sorry it joint e is fixed so m c e will be positive and m e c will be negative m c e is equal to plus w l by 8 which is equal which is equal to plus w means 10 into 8 by 8 and it's going to be plus 10 kilo newton meter and m m e c is equal to minus w l by 8 which is going to be minus 10 kilo newton meter now uh, we have calculated fixed in moment now uh, we have, will be going to add uh, step second and step second we will be calculating distribution factor now here comes the step second uh, while calculating uh, this distribution factor at this uh, relative stiffness is denoted by k and uh, this is actually summation k which is the sum of relative stiffness and uh, on dividing relative stiffness by summation k it gives us distribution factor and this is our going to be our distribution factor okay and uh, while finding distribution factor many students get confused uh, they may face problem while finding distribution factor so do listen carefully uh, and uh, uh, we comes to our span a b and uh, as we when we move to when we see toward b a then as you can see our end a is fixed so our relative stiffness is going to be i by l uh, and on considering the span bc uh, when we see joint c it is actually hinged but it is in the center of the beam uh, or, or sorry it is in the center of the frame so it is also going to be i by l uh, and uh, when we consider the joint cb and uh, bc and cb are actually same so it's also going to be i by l and we, we when we consider ce and when we see joint e it is fixed so it is also going to be i by l 
but uh, when we see joint CD uh, our end D is hinged and uh, when the hinged support is at the end of the frame then we need to use the formula 3 by 4 I by L see the difference uh, here uh, in, in the figure you can see that joint C is also hinged there is nothing it means we have to assume that it is hinged but it is actually at the center of the beam so it is joint C is going to be I by L but uh, our D is hinged which is at the end of the span so it is going to be 3 by 4 I by L now I will be calculating the value of K now I have calculated the value of K now you find the value of summation k and while finding summation k you just need to add these two number and here add these three number and right here add these two number and right here then on adding i will get i by 2 and in adding these three number we will get 5 i by 8 now divide this number by this and this number by this on dividing i will get uh, this will be 1 by 2 and this will be again 1 by 2 uh, and uh, on dividing 1.5 i by 6 by 5 i by 8 we will get 2 by 5 and uh, on dividing i by l means i by 8 by 5 i by 8 uh, it's going to be uh, 1 by 5 uh, and on dividing this number by this number it is going to be 2 by 5 now uh, here comes the step 3 and in step in step 3 we will be finding the fixed in final moment final moment and uh, for final finding the final moment we have to draw the diagram like this uh, here joint b has two span ba and bc uh, and for joint c there are three span three spans cv and the CE and CD I have written all and I have to mention the uh, distribution factor here now uh, in the first step uh, we have to write all the uh, fixed in moments here now the fixed in moment at end A is 0 and then BA is 0 and then BC is minus 1.5 CD is plus oh sorry this is 15 and uh, this is plus 15 okay and this is minus 15 and uh, this is plus 10 and this is 0 now while continuing the numerical uh, what we need to do is we have to add these two number and multiply by this number and write it here but in sign should be up, uh, changed if it is minus then on writing here it will be plus and if you're plus it if it is plus then we have to make it minus so on multiplying 15 by 2 then it's going to be 7.5 so it's going to be here it is minus so it will be plus 7.5 and again it's going to be saying same if we multiply this number by this number then it's again going to be 7.5 and here we have to add these two numbers we will get 25 positive and uh, multiply 25 by this number into 2 by 5 the answer will be 10 uh, and this is plus so it's going to be minus 10 again multiply 25 by 25 into 1 by 5 means uh, it is again going to be 5 and uh, negative 5 again we will get here minus 10 on adding these two numbers and multiplying by this number we will get this number now uh, just uh, draw a line and uh, as our end a is fixed so transfer half number here so this is plus 7.5 so divide 7.5 by 2 you will get 3.75 3.75 then plus 3.75 is transferred here now divide these two number by 2 and write it here on dividing this we will get minus 5 and again divide these two number by 2 you will get plus 3.75 write it here now multiply this number by 1 by 2 you will get plus uh, you will get 2.5 and this is minus
minus so it will be plus 2.5 again multiplying this number by this number we will get minus 2.5 but we have to change the sign so it will be again plus 2.5 and here on uh, adding this to this number with this and this number here no, in nothing it means it is zero so now multiply this number by this number and write it here again multiply this number by this number write it here multiply this number by this number and write it here sign should be changed so i am repeating the process it is going to be minus 1.5 and uh, minus 0 0.75 and uh, minus 1.5 now uh, we have to do this uh, we have to repeat this process until we get the term which is near to zero means 0 0.00 something 0 0.001 or 0 0.002 we have to bring it up to that number so now we we will be continuing with new another step and uh, in this step divide this number by 2 and write it here because this is fixed end fixed support okay then we will get plus 1.25 now divide this number by 2 uh, you will get uh, minus 0 0.75 and uh, dividing this number by 2 we will get plus 1.25 now multiply this number by this number write it here signs opposite uh, and again multiply this number by this number write it here on doing so we will get uh, plus 0 0.375 plus 0 0.375 and uh, on multiplying this number by this number we will get minus 0 0.5 and this is going to be minus 0 0.25 and this is going to be minus 0 0.5 now uh, as you can see i have uh, solved it up to 0 0.02 and uh, it should be solved up to 0 0.02 or 0 0.01 now it can it is not going to be solved further now on now add this number and write it here on adding this all we will get plus 5.25 and uh, add this number write it here we will get plus 5 10.10.51 again add this number and write it here you will get minus 10.52 uh, and uh, uh, to check the answer these two value is same if these two value comes same it means our numerical is going correct and uh, now add this number and write it here on adding so this number you will get 8.15 add this number write it here plus 3.95 add this number write it here you will get minus 12.1 as you can see uh, this is our final answer this is our final moment uh, and uh, this is going to be our answer and uh, yes thanks for watching this video and uh, if we are asked to find uh, draw the bending moment diagram then we simply need to represent this uh, on the diagram and uh, we have to calculate the diagram separately from the load also uh, and for that uh, do watch my channel uh, do watch my video which is uh, based uh, which is based upon which is based on uh, Kani's rotation method and uh, there you can see uh, I have to find the final moment and the load uh, and the moment due to load and the process is going to be same for this numerical also and once again thanks uh, uh, thanks all of you for watching this video and uh, please support my channel thank you have a nice day